welcome students now this is the part 3 of the october november 2018 physics paper 4 1 we already solved two questions in our last videos now we are going to start question number three so please going to the question number three it's quite simple let's start If you see the question number three, it states that state what is meant by a principle of conservation of energy. So the law of conservation of energy can be stated in different forms. For example, number one, you can say energy cannot be created or cannot be destroyed. Or you can say the energy in a system remains constant. So let's move to the question number to uh, same question part B okay now they are asking that state the energy that take place from when the girls begin to exert a force on the ball until it hits the ground now see when the girls start to moving or begins to exert a force on the ball so her chemical energy is converting into kinetic energy and when we are talking about the ball is moving downwards toward the ground then we can say the kinetic energy means the kinetic energy of the ball is converting into gravitational potential energy you can also say kinetic energy changing into some sound energy some heat energy okay now move to the next part the mass of the ball is 4.0 kg the girl exert a force on the ball for 0 0.60 seconds the speed of the ball increase from 0 meter per second to 12 meter per second before it leaves the girl's hand so now you know the momentum according to that what is momentum momentum equal to mass times velocity what is the mass here you can see mass is 4 and the velocity is 12 meter per second now when you're going to multiply them you will get momentum that is 48 kilogram meter per second so this is the first part second part they're saying the average resultant force exerted on the ball for that if you remember you have a topic in the momentum that change in momentum or is known as impulse uh, by using that force equal to change in momentum divided by time or you will find change in momentum equal to force multiplied by time if you will convert the force equal to mass multiply acceleration according to the second law of motion in place of a you will write v minus u divided by t so according to this then you can use this equation there so that is 48 change in momentum how as we done here and then what is how much the time 0 0.4 seconds so that is equal 0 0.6 seconds sorry is given here and then if you divide them you will get the answer from where we got the 48 4 multiply by 12 that is the 48 here and divide by the time so the force is 80 newton move to the question number four in the question number four they are saying that there is a cylinder and the cylinder you have like liquid and you have to find the density of that one now if you see the question they are saying the depth of the liquid is 10 centimeter and the radius of the cylinder is 3 centimeter the weight of the liquid is in the cylinder is 2.5 newton this weight is given now they are talking about calculate the density for that we need mass and the volume mass you can convert for example here it is written 2.5 newton but it is the weight and you know how to convert the mass into weight or weight into mass just divide by 10 gravity and you can get the mass now this is a cylinder in the cylinder the area you can find the area that is pi multiplied by r square and then the depth is 10 centimeter so if you need the volume you will take area multiply by depth then you will get the volume so pi is there and radius is already given that is 3 centimeter 
but we have to convert it into meters it means you have to divide by 100 so now you will see that you got 0.03 you will take square of that one after that you have 0.1 and then go by 0.1 because this had 10 centimeter here if you see so you have to convert into meter it will become 0.1 meter so like this you got the volume now here that is 2.8 multiplied 10 raised to power 4 meter cube by using these values mass equal to 0.25 kg and the volume equal to this value you will put the values here in the formula and you will get the answer that is 890 kilogram meter cube the part b of the question they were asking about the name of this device as you know that this is manometer sometimes also known as u-shaped manometer so this is used to find the difference between two pressure from here from this point you will get atmospheric pressure and from this point you will get gas pressure so with the difference of this you will you can find the gas pressure by using the values of atmospheric pressure now next question they're saying the difference of H between the two liquid level is 2 cm. The density of the liquid is 800 kg meter per cube. Calculate the difference in the pressure of the gas and atmospheric pressure. Now, if you talk about this question, so you can solve it. Pressure in liquids equal to height or the depth equal to multiply by density of the liquid multiply by the gravity when you calculate all of them you will find that 160 pascal now we are finding here the difference why because if you talk about the density of the liquid remain same the gravity remains same only height can make the difference and if you know the difference in height as they mentioned here two centimeters two centimeter means zero 0.02 meters and you will put the value here and you can get the answer now they're saying a similar device with a tube of a small cross-section area is connected to a gas supply at the same pressure state and explain an effect on the value of h mean the height or the depth in this particular situation the value the value of h stays same because the pressure depends only of the depth pressure will not depend on the shape of the container once again as you know the fact the pressure in liquids pressure in liquid depends only the depth of the liquid along with density and the gravity but the shape of the container doesn't make doesn't make any difference to the pressure in the liquids now we'll move to question number five question number five they're saying in the space below draw a label diagram of the structure of a thermocouple thermometer include the device from which a uh, trading is taken now in your book you will not in sorry not in your book in your past paper you will not find this diagram so i just made it for answer for you so here you need one ammeter that's known as sensitive ammeter two wires are coming from the ammeter you can see here i'm just trying to highlight that area so then these two wires they should be made by same material if you're taking copper here here should be copper if you are taking iron here here should be iron also the third wire which is used to connect these two wires is no it should be made by different wire than the these two now that is the iron so now here you have two junctions mean two points the connecting points junction one and junction two from these two junctions if you put any junction in the melting ice that is known as cold junction and the junction which you will attach with the object which temperature you want to measure that is known as hot junction once again what is cold junction from a any of these if you put one in melting ice either junction one or junction two that is known as 
cold junction and other which you will put with the object that's known as cold junction so this is a diagram now they're saying that what are the reason to use to thermocouple thermometer or sometime they can ask so why it is suitable or where it will be helpful so there are two things are there there are a lot but we are mentioning here two due to the requirement measure the temperature at high value for example if the temperature of a substance is very high for that thermocouple is a best choice even thermocouple is used to find the temperature of lava after that response are work quickly this responds very quickly because it will give you the reading in a less than second so this is very quick acting or it responds very quickly now they are using the concept of liquid in glass thermometer and they are saying that if they reduce the diameter of the capillary tube what will happen so if you already studied the topic they'll say it will become more sensitive due to the more expansion of the capillary tube after that you have the other increasing the volume of the liquid means the bulb size will be increased so it means that it will become more sensitive again and what is the reason due to more liquid and due to more expansion in the capillary tube so this was the question number five